What's up, this is Al Tariq. So the Garmin Varia Radar is probably one of the most important products Garmin released for cyclists and one that is easy, easy to recommend. But we haven't seen an update to the Varia line in quite some time. There is the Varia RVR 315, which is the radar only. Then you have the Varia RTL 510, which is the radar with lights. This is the one that I use on my bike and take with me on every single ride and is hand down an easy recommendation. And now we have the all new RCT 715. This combines a radar functionality, lights, and Garmin added a camera. So let's talk about it. The Garmin Varia rear view radar line provides awareness of vehicles approaching from behind up to 153 yards or 140 meters away and alerts you of the approaching vehicles. They are compatible with devices such as Garmin Edge bike computers, some Garmin watches, as well as other third-party bike computers such as Wahoo Element. The radar itself on every single Varia model works exactly the same way. No changes there. The light intensity is the same on the RCT 715 and the RTL 510, except they added a Peloton mode uh, on the RCT 715, which is meant to be used when in group rides and is only eight lumens. The RCT 715 retails for 400 US dollars. And uh, by the way, if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you take a quick second to hit the like button. It helps the channel and the video quite a bit and I really appreciate it. Okay, this one is not meant to replace the other ones out there. It is new addition to the Varia family, so you have the option to pick any of them depending on what you are looking for. Garmin always use a quarter mount mounting kit, which you might be familiar with. They work great and I really never had any issues with them. Not a single time I had my bike computer fly out or really had any issues with them. And you can find pretty neat third-party mounts which you can use to attach the Varia to your seat or seat post without adding any bulk and make it look nice on your bike. However, this new mount is very different. It is supposedly more secure and has a locking mechanism to uh, secure the Varia radar in place so it does not fly away and it does feel very secure. However, it is much bulkier and also you won't be able to use any of the third-party mounts that are currently available for the uh, Varia radar if you want something different. Garmin also included a 16 gigabyte mini SD card which you can find behind this back door. You will need to find a coin to open this one. That's where all the video footage will be saved and you can use uh, a different card if you want to have one with more storage. And speaking of bulkiness, the RCT 715 weighs 147 grams and uh, 200 grams with the included mount. Just for comparison, the Garmin RTL 510 weighs 72 grams. If I add the KOM Varia mount, which is a third party mount that I use on my bike, it comes out to 114 grams. So the RTL 510 with the mount are still lighter than the RCT 715 alone. The battery life on the RCT 715 with 1080p recording is four hours on solid or night flash mode, five hours on Peloton mode, six hours on day flash. The camera records in 1080p or 720p at 30 frames per second. I definitely would not recommend you selecting the 720p option as this will drastically affect the video quality and the ability to zoom into photos to capture the license plate, for example. But we will get into the video quality later in this video. The RCT 715 is IPX7 water resistance and it uses ANT+. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for communicating with other devices. Down at the bottom, you'll see this little door. If you open it, you will see the USB-C charging port, which can be used for charging or connecting to your computer to transfer footage. Okay, let's talk about the main feature of this device, which is the camera. The camera records in 1080p, 30 frames per second, which is high definition video recording, not 4K, I get why Garmin decided to go with 1080p instead of the higher resolution to save space and battery, but I don't get why they went with 30 frames per second, which is good for YouTube type videos and not action shot. This camera has a 220 degree viewing angle, which is pretty wide and will capture uh, pretty much anything behind you 
closer to the wheel of the bike. The camera records in 30 second segment when in continuous mode, when it detects an incident, it will record up to a minute and 30 seconds, which is the default setting. You can change that in the very app in 30 second increments to be anywhere from one minute and 30 seconds to five minutes. Incidents are then saved or moved to a locked location so they don't get overwritten. The Varia has multiple recording modes that you can set. Continuous mode, basically that's what it is. It starts recording as soon as you turn it on. During radar activity mode, that's when the Varia records only when the radar detects a vehicle. Off mode, this disables the camera recording altogether, but it will continue to work as a radar and light and transmits radar activity data to your device. The Varia uses a sensor to detect possible incident and save the video footage automatically before, during, and after the detected event, regardless of which recording mode you select. So even if you turn off recording, Altogether, if it detects an incident, it will record that incident, which is pretty cool. And that's one way to increase the battery life if you don't care uh, about recording every vehicle passing you or if you cycle in a busy area where a lot of vehicles are constantly passing you. Speaking of the Varia app, the app allows you uh, to view settings, change settings, it can even be used as a head unit and view radar activity. Also, the app allows you to view videos and pictures, but it is so slow and so buggy, you might end up causing an incident yourself with the phone and the radar trying to download the videos. So what I recommend you do is connect it directly to your PC and download the videos that way. It will connect to your PC as a regular drive and you can just browse through the footage grab the ones that you want and move them to your PC. It's much simpler to do it that way and faster to browse through all the video footage rather than trying to fiddle with the app. You'll find the videos to be okay. Sadly, in 2022, Garmin decided to go with a very basic camera, no stabilization whatsoever or even horizontal leveling. So the videos can be shaky, particularly if you are on gravel or bumpy roads. All videos are saved with date, timestamp, GPS coordinates and speed, which is really nice. Trying to make out license plates is going to be tough. This is where recording stabilization, higher resolution and higher frame rates would have been nice and made a big difference. But if you slowly move through the video shots, you will most likely find one frame one frame or two that will be good enough to be able to decipher the license plate. If you take a screenshot of the frame that you want and open it in your uh, photo editor and zoom in, you should be able to clearly see the license plate uh, that way. This one, however, uh, it's completely blurry. I could not find one frame where I could read the full license plate. Maybe if the vehicle was heading directly towards me and not to the side, the camera would have captured a better footage. I don't know hard to tell. Also, where I live, a front license plate is not required, so most cars here don't have one, which is going to make things a bit more challenging if you are in an incident and trying to identify the vehicle. But like I said earlier, the Garmin Varia is so easy to recommend. It's really the one product that I think every cyclist who rides on the road should absolutely absolutely invest in. It works as a radar and light and gives you more awareness of what's going on behind you. I tend to zone out sometimes when riding outside, particularly when doing intervals. So it's good to have that awareness, particularly if you have a bike computer right in front of you. This Varia RCT715, which costs $400, does the same as other Varias out there, but what sets this one apart is the included camera. I like how the camera is integrated with the radar and automatically detects incidents and save footage. I also like how it automatically add the time and location of the incidents of the, to the videos. Uh, these are all important details that you might need if an incident happened. However, the camera would have been okay maybe five or 10 years ago, but in 2022, when the tiny little camera in your phone take much better videos, I don't know. Don't get me wrong, I understand the intended purpose of this camera and it is totally fine for that. It is not meant to take beautiful action videos, that's what a GoPro or Insta360 cameras are for. The camera here is only meant to be used to capture incidents and you need to go back and review what happened or grab a vehicle's license plate. But for $400, 
it would have been nice to have a better camera so you can capture all the little details that you might need in the event of an incident. And I think it can be skinnier and a little bit lighter, but I might be nitpicking here. Anyway, these are all my thoughts on this new Varia RCT715. If you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to comment below. Okay, there you have it. Hope you find this video helpful. Remember to hit the like button and if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.